first thing is I like to talk to the director first. Quite often I'll travel in with the director if we're both, if sometimes we'll share a car from the hotel and that's really great. The ideal is going in with the director and the AD because you can almost plan the day on your way to work. And it's, I often like to go in with the director before breakfast even and just with the director and the AD just walk the course. So we'll walk through the sets or the location and go through the shot list if there is one and talk about all the things the director wants and what order we want to work in. And that will set the day up. And then with that information, I can then pass that round to all my departments, to the group department, and say, look, we're going to need a crane in the afternoon at the back of the house. So can you make sure that's getting built before we get around there? I could tell the lighting department that because of costume aren't quite ready, we're going to have to go for day first. So we have to take the blacks off that are blacking out the room. We're going to have to put the lights up, so he'll have to get there early. So you can get all that information going. So the first thing is to talk to the director and the first AD and plan the day. Game of Thrones, I normally, you know, get to set probably 45 minutes before we start. My director will most likely get there as well around the same time, so we have a chat about... We, we sort of warm up on, on what we had already discussed many times beforehand. Uh, generally on Game of Thrones, I would have done a pre-light with my gaffer. Um, so the main setup is already there. Usually at breakfast, I'll see camera department, lighting department grips feed through any information I've had got. They give you sides, which are all the pages that the actors are going to speak that day in order that they're going to be shot and it comes with a, a schedule for that day. And I'll look at that. And I'll also look at what's called the advance and that gives you the next two or three days on the schedule, which is often shifting slightly depending on late availability of actors or locations or scenes that you're picking up. So you'll look at what's coming up ahead. Say, okay, <clears throat> And the gaff will do this often as well. We'll see if a, a scene has moved forwards for the following day, which might mean we need an early call to pre-light. So we have to get in an hour early to get the lights in place. So we'll discuss logistics of how we can make each day work. The director and I have spoken numerous times about the way we want to shoot the scene. So all of that is pretty much, you know, there. So I just get there, I have a look and I tweak it to what it's going to be. And then once the actors come in and, you know, we've done a rehearsal with the actors, you know, you tweak it again. On set, the director uh, is, is the all-powerful, if he wants to be. Now, he can step back uh, sometimes and say, well, what do you think, or whatever. But usually, he will control what you do. Every shot you do will go through him. And you will say, look, this is what I'm thinking. You should need a, we need a, a wide shot here. We need an establishing shot to show what the place looks like. So what I was thinking was, and you show him what you're thinking of, and then he'll either approve that or not approve that. So that gives you the, the first shot of the day, probably. You then collude with your operator and your gaffer in terms of the chief lighting electrician, and you work out where the lights are going to be so everyone can start work.